Now, what if we have two liquids that are mixed together? Then we have another issue. So we've got, say, ethanol and water are always together. So they mix together, and how do we separate them? Well, we can use a thing called distillation, and this works if the two, solu if the two liquids are soluble in one another. So, for instance, ethanol and water are actually soluble in one another. So they'll dissolve in one another. So we can use distillation to separate them, okay? This won't work very well if they don't dissolve in water, like oil and water, that won't work so well. Again, similar to the evaporation concept, it relies on the two liquids having different boiling points. So one boils faster than the other, essentially. So we heat the mixture to the boiling point of one of the liquids, and that's the liquid with the lowest boiling point. So we heat the mixture to the temperature in which the, the chemical that boils at the lowest boiling point will start to boil. So for instance, the boiling point of ethanol is about 78-ish degrees Celsius. This one's 100 degrees. Okay, so we heat the liquid up to this temperature and what happens? The ethanol starts to boil. And then the ethanol leaves as a gas, but the water remains liquid because it hasn't reached its boiling point yet. Okay, so you can see how that helps to separate it. Because this one leaves as a gas, whereas this one is still liquid because it hasn't reached boiling point yet. So the, the, the lower of the two boiling points, the, that liquid evaporates, leaving the other liquid in the flask. You can then, if you want, you can then condense the vapours and then form two separate liquids. So if you, you know, trap the gases and condense them, you will get two liquids that are almost pure. Okay? This process is used in the refinement of petroleum, like petrol, and also the refinement of ethanol. When you get ethanol for your car from fermentation, you can use this process to get very pure ethanol. Now, that was for two liquids that could dissolve in one another. But what about two liquids that can't dissolve in one another? Like this one, this is oil and water. The top is oil, because you know that oil sits on the top of water, and the bottom is water. So we can use what's called a separating funnel. So this separating funnel actually relies on the two liquids being insoluble and one being less dense than the other, okay? So water is more dense than oil, so it sits on the bottom, and oil is less dense than water, so it sits on the top. Okay, so, so oil is the less dense one, water is the more dense one. So one liquid will sit on top of the other due to the difference in density, okay? Because it's less dense, it'll sit on top, right? That's why hot air rises, okay? So what happens is, see this valve at the bottom here? We just open it, essentially. So we open it, and the liquid at the bottom leaves, okay? It, so we're draining out this liquid, and then we close the valve when we see that it's about to hit the oil, okay? Describe the property that is used, that is exploited to distill a mixture of ethanol and water. Well, differences in boiling point is exploited to separate ethanol and water. We want to, we want to be able to use the fact that they have different boiling points to separate them. So ethanol has a boiling point of around 78 degrees Celsius, while water boils at around 100 degrees Celsius. By heating the mixture to 78 degrees, the ethanol can be evaporated, leaving the water behind. And then the ethanol can be condensed, separating the two liquids. And what property is exploited in the separation funnel? And how does this facilitate the separation process? Okay. So the two things that we're looking at here are insolubility and density differences. Okay. Denser substances sink to the bottom, while less dense substances float on top. Now by opening the valve at the bottom, the dense liquid can be separated from the den less dense liquid. So when you close the valve, you stop the less dense liquid flowing through the funnel. So you open the valve to let the dense liquid out, and then when you see that the less dense liquid is about to hit, about to start going through the funnel, you close the valve and stop it, and then you've separated the two liquids.